Hi, welcome back to um, another episode of Dark Souls 3 Lore Through. Um, we are going to continue where we left off with the Cathedral of the Deep. Uh, we didn't need this, did we? Great sword of a debauched executioner used for beheadings. This sword retains a keen memory of its executioner's duty and absorbs FP from each fallen foe. That's kind of cool. Okay, we read that. Uh, okay, cool. All right, I'm gonna go back and trigger that. Um, I'm going to go back and trigger that um, ambush now that I have you know, full HP. The same sound dying that Dark Wraiths make. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Great. Okay, so just run up and kill this guy, I guess. Oh, this guy too? Alright, well, let's try to take these guys out. Is there even something from behind? Is that part of it? I just know there's a guy to the left here. Yeah, there is something. Oh, I should have known. Wow, he waits so long. Oh, he's not dead. Okay. These guys should be easy. They are praying to this thing. And it was an ember, which I do need. Okay. Now let's go back into the game, or into the area that we want to actually go. So now where to? Do we go here? Do we go here? I'm gonna go down here and see where that takes it. Oops. Am I incapable of going down? Like, what is this? What's going on? Never seen this bug. I almost go down. There's like... It goes down there. And then I hit a plane. Okay, well, we're not gonna go back down there. This is not going to be good. Oops. Come on. Just want this one. Lloyd sorting. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, hopefully that geometry isn't there when we get back. Um, that was weird. I didn't feel like uh, loading a game could affect the geometry of something. Like, 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 in other words, 
either that's always there or I mean I guess there's enemy geometry and such like that but it didn't seem something like enemy based it just seemed like a plane and a wall okay good well now just trying to get through okay so he's slow Ugh. Many more thralls to deal with here. It probably have fire bombs. Oops. Probably does better against them. Little. Seek guidance. We also have to read that um, ring. Uh, what ring do we get? Oh, Lord's sword. Ring given to the Knights of the Way of White depicts all Father Lloyd's sword of law. Much time has passed since the worship of Lloyd. Yeah, same description. And then what do we just get? Miracle of stray souls. Display more help from other worlds. Faith serves as a guide for clerics, meaning they should have no need for second-hand wisdom. Be that as may, be that as it may, this miracle has been passed down from soul to soul, providing a tiny ray of hope for the lost. Okay. Knocks me so far back. And yet I still open myself up to get hit by it. Okay. Need embers. I guess these guys fell down. It's gonna hit me through here, I bet. Okay. Alright. So now, here the chain is kind of hidden, but you can still see. This mimic has some interesting stuff in it. Oh! <laughs> that was lucky. Symbol of Avarice and the Deep Braille Divine Tome. Okay, so let's read the Avarice, see if it's still about the god. Head of the av avaricious 
creature that mimics chest mimics treasure chests can be worn if one so wishes. Increases soul absorption from defeated enemies as well as item discovery, but the curse of the branded also drains HP. The very form of this creature is thought to be a form of brand, a punishment for sin. Huh, that's an interesting way to put it compared to the last descriptions. A braille divine tome of the deep belonging to the deacons of the cathedral. Give this to a storyteller to learn miracles of the deep, intended to teach divine protection to the deacons of the deep. But later, dark tales were added to its pages, such that it is now considered a thing profane. And we cannot give that to uh, Marina either, because it's deep, deep and dark and it will corrupt her. Um, I mean, we can give it to her, but I don't want to play that storyline. Out with her. So here's another chapel. And for some reason, a Lothric Knight is here, and I hate this guy. He's not too bad in terms of health. Yeah, so wherever. Oh! Where, wherever he hits explodes later on the ground with that buff. Oh, God. Just the, uh, the delay. It's so stupid. Go heal. Gonna drop us anything for our troubles? Man, can I take on this guy here? I can cheese him if nothing else. So there's this enemy here who is just, I guess I don't have a real great weapon for this. I'm going to choose this because I don't have enough health, I don't think, or enough Estus. There. I kind of didn't cheese it. So that was truly an abomination. And we get Aldrich's Sapphire from that. This is the, the area of Aldrich. Recovers FP from critical attacks, which is cool. A malformed ring left by Aldrich, Saint of the Deep. Aldrich, infamous for his appetite for flesh, apparently had the desire to share with others his joy for, of imbibing the final shudders of life while luxuriating in his victim's screams. So he wasn't just like a cannibal. He like took personal like joy from, from their pain and thought it tasted the best when they were screaming. So he is uh, quite a character. Um, okay. We're going to have to book it. Uh, is that not the right way? It is. Okay. Okay. There's this shortcut, which we'll go to later. Oh. Okay. We do want to fight this guy, but not now. I mean, not without opening this. I 
can't rest at the bonfire, but at least I can fight with him here. Okay, come on, Kirk. Now, we did fight this guy. He's long finger, by the way. He's another finger. Oh, come on. Oh, gosh. Well, because he invaded, we had to waste an ember because I just, I don't know. I was a no. No, um. No state to fight him. Um, but. We did get an ember reselling. And, uh. Now we can fight him properly. Okay. So, yeah, here is above where this guy was. Trigger is it's somewhere around here. Okay. Oh, great. Okay, then there he is. Okay. Can I fight him here? Well, okay, probably. See, I just need to guess, you know. Okay, I'm trapping me in here. Barb, straight sword, and spike shield, just like in the original. Um, sword of Long Finger Kirk, the infamous Knight of Thorns. This sword's blade is lined with countless deadly thorns. The thorns of this ominous weapon induce heavy bleeding. I use a stance. So he's another finger of Rosaria too. Um, its vicious design makes it effective weapon, and its thorns can inflict heavy bleeding on those unfortunate enough to be struck. All right, so now we're going to take on these uh, giants, although we're in a, a muck that we can't really move around in well. But it's certainly a little bit easier down here than it is up there. I just don't know when they're going to be, what their health is. Rinse and repeat. Weird. <laughs> okay, good. It's like, how did that hit me? Maiden set? White hood worn by traveling maidens, part of their formal attire, regardless of rank. Okay. You can see that there's obviously the giant was living in his own excrement. Um, but there's also like people buried as if they were burnt or. Oh, good. He gave us dung pie and also a large titanic shard, which we'll need to upgrade this weapon. Uh, 
Alright. Of all the huge doors we've seen from the outside, this is none of them. Oh, you can even see the, <laughs> like, filth footprints on the ground. Bones, some more views from over here. It's the area right in front of the cathedral. Saint Bident. A silver Bident decorated by a holy symbol, formerly wielded by Saint Klimt. He discarded this weapon that draws upon one's faith on the day that he put down his own faith behind him. So it seems like. Uh, the cathedral, the cathedral of the deep is certainly a like a location for clerics of some sort. You know, anyone dealing with faith is is trying to uh, to visit. Wish I had a dagger. Um. Okay. So. I'm not trying to mess with this guy. <laughs> oh, what it must feel like rolling around in some giant's feces. Okay, is there anything here? Oh, there is something. On one of these. You can raise. Okay, it's over there. I did that area. Okay, so if I wanted to, I could come up here and raise this. Don't really need it, but I'll show how it works. So I suppose this was to like contain the giants for various reasons, although they still permit people to walk through. Um, there's another one of those here. Um, and then there's another one here. Which we can pull right here. Again, I don't know exactly the reason for these things. I mean, it obviously helps contain the giants in some way. But... Yeah, but I don't know how to, okay, so you can see some grubs up on that ceiling there. There's a place up there. We can get to the rafters as well, but we'll be doing that later. Oh, can you fight over here? I'm just trying to kill the slimes, you know? Oops. Come on. Okay, let's see here. There's still quite a bit of slimes left.
my hits the slimes. Whoa, that was close. Okay, not a problem. Drain gauntlets. There's a maggot up there too. Drain armor. Pale tongue. Drain shoes. Same thing. Hammers. Okay. Those are the giants. What are we doing on time? We're not even close to being done. Okay. So. Yeah, at this point. The less fighting I can do, the better. Yes. Okay. Here is a shortcut that we've seen. That's where the Grave Warden is. Sigmeyer. Sigward? Sigward. Some more dual charms. So yeah, like all Father Lloyd's crew has been around here, I guess. Oh look, this one is up now. There's something over there. Mm. Well, you look reasonably sane. I am a knight of Katarina. I've managed to track down this cathedral's store of treasure. It's right over there, across that narrow part. Treasure? Hmm. Always so close, yet so far. I'm in quite a pickle, <laughs> indeed. Hmm. 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 That doesn't sound like Sigward, or Sigmeyer, or any Sig. Sounds more like Patches to me. And he also speaks exactly like Patches in the sense that he wants me to go get treasure. Well, if you just hold your horses a moment. I know, I know. Treasure is so sorely tempting. <sighs> okay. Well, if you just... I... Yeah, well, let's check it out. <laughs> Shame on you. Well, say hello to the nice giant. He adores visitors. <laughs> Bro, 
probably would have been more impactful if I, uh, you know, hadn't killed this giant already. Let's go and uh, get retribution. Find you. Now we will go up here. Uh, might as well rest since we're so close. Seventeen thousand. Didn't I have thirty thousand? Or did I go and level up? Or buy something? I don't recall dying and leaving my... Oh! I guess I died. Um, with uh, Kirk. So wait, have I died more and not picked up my stuff? Okay, that's much better. Okay. Sorry, I get uh, a little um, empty-headed sometimes. Okay. So yeah, now we are back. In this area where that guy was shooting at us, we just came out of that door. But we can go around here. Deep ring. Two men of additional spells. A ring bestowed upon the deacons of the Cathedral of the Deep allows a two men of additional spells. In the Cathedral slumber things most terrible, and as such, the deacons require a grand narrative to ensure they do not falter in their duty. A philosophy to ward away the madness beckoned by the grotescu grotescuaries? Grotescuaries at hand. Okay. Oh gosh. Okay, there's this guy. Whoa. What a delay. What an unnecessary delay. Like, like how would you know that that wasn't his fast move? Like, he doesn't indicate that one's gonna be one move and one's gonna be another. I don't know. Okay. Oh gosh. So there's an item up here like that I'm don't want to get I mentioned earlier. Pale tongue. Um so yeah, there's like an avalanche or some sort of crossbow down there, I think. Oh wait, is it just that you walk through here? Okay, yeah, I can do that. There's one item somewhere where I feel like, and maybe I'm just misremembering this, but where you have to like jump onto something and then completely backtrack like a terrible amount of arbalist. 
read it quick. Large crossbow. Yep. Okay. I feel like, I don't know, there's one, maybe it's this one. I don't know, there's one where I feel like you have to like, jump down to an area and I didn't want to do that, but that's easy enough. Okay. Oh boy. Oh. Did not see him. Okay. It's a new Lothric Knighter. I don't know if they're Lothric Knights. I just want this blessed gem. Wow. Okay. Peace out, bro. It was fun. Ugh. It was fun fighting with you for a second. So yeah, this is the rafters of the cathedral up here. And what we want to do is we want to get down to right here. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. That was funny. a grub firing some sort of miracle at us. Um, and here's Patches in his true form. Huh? Yes, hello. Oh, I don't believe we've met. I'm Patches. Unbreakable Patches. But you seem to be unkindled. Do you have business with me? You know who I am. Ah, oh, oh, yes, of course. It's coming back to me now. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was my hand, as you know. But but the deed, well, that was the armor's doing. <laughs> Regrettable, <laughs> truly. But behold, I'm stripped clean of that unruly attire. Right. Look at you. Not a scratch. Yeah. All's well that ends well, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yes, we'll be fine. I can tell. It's that rotten curse. It is. The untidy mess. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, yes. Now, it wasn't me. But, but, but you still deserve an apology. Just a little trinket. Go ahead. It's yours now. Rusted coin. <laughs> If you say no, you get a different thing, I think. Uh, you should know. I'm a kind of uh, traveling merchant. If you're as unkindled as you look, you'll find plenty of good stuff. Okay. You can sell to him too. You can sell to everyone. I love it. All right. So he has red bug, bug pellets, black fire bombs, and the rope versions, uh, human pine resin. He has unlimited rusted coins. He's a parrying dagger. Dagger with a greatly curved guard, a dagger made especially for pairing, which is usually equipped in one's left hand. He has two shuttles, like Latrax weapon. Broadly curved sword known as the favored weapon of the tragic Embrace Knight, uh, Latrax. Uh, shaped to sneak around the defenses of shields, this sword requires ample dexterity to wield effectively. Uh, it does a spin. Wing spear. Uh, wing lugs. Long reach. Okay. And then we have the Pierce Shield, an unusual style of round shield peculiar to the Knights of Katarina. The center of the shield features a large sharpened spike which is used to skewer opponents. So shield mash is what it does. 
distinctively shaped helm worn by the Knights of Katarina, often ridiculed for its onion-like shape, infuriating the country's proud knights, but the masterfully forged curved design makes it very effective for defect deflecting blows. And then he has the black leather set. This wear, uh, the wearer of this fine attire was admired by friends and enemies alike, for his skills were unmatched, and his heart was true as gold. As their new owner, you have quite the shoes to fill. And he has poison arrows. Can't find anything you like. Well, you could try looking a little harder. Maybe later patches. So yeah, now he'll go to Firelink Shrine. Here's all the grubs we saw earlier. And since I don't have any um So you can see those uh, spikes are here, and they look like they've been used to skewer these maggots in some way. Like to the wall and stuff. Just trying to be cautious. They're not the most tough enemies, but there's also like 50 of them. this good hunter charms so that would indicate to me that these are since they consistently drop that these are probably Lloyd's knights maybe transformed you, you can see they're not wanted here you know, they're skewered to the walls and such. Red sign soapstone. Not all dark spirits are unsporting, or they wouldn't make use of the soapstone. Um, so yeah, now there is a door here, but it's interesting, there is a, ca a barred cage door on the outside. To me this indicates that this used to be like a room of the cathedral. It mimics the doors on that end. But then later, someone chained, put the cage here and then chained it up. Now obviously these things are being attacked and it might be related to them, but it also looks like this uh, was pried open. But what, how, which way was it pried open? Was it pried open to get in? Or was it pried open to get out? We have cradles here for children. And we might have seen it down there, but this is the first instance where we've seen one of the statues just completely covered with a cloth. We have cradles floating above, too. And there is some being there. And we get the hel uh, the thorns set from defeating Helm of Kirk, the notorious knight of thorns. A dense patch of thorns grows from its surface. A fitting item for the murderous Kirk, for even the simple act of rolling can damage enemies. Oh, we didn't read Drang. Armor of the Drang Knights. Proclaimed descendants from the land known for the legend of the linking of the fire. Okay, so from Lordran. 
fine protection that is both light and strong, having been reinforced with rare guy steel, which is something that we talked a lot about in two, uh, from Hyde, I believe. The Drang Knights were once feared cell swords until treason meant descending into the abyss, where they and they were separated forever. Okay. Yeah, this all looks the same. Interesting. Uh, but that also means that we have to read... Do we, we didn't read Twinkling, man. Unless one uses his Twinkling Tide Knight, which reinforces these weapons without unraveling their inherent strength. Sharp Gem, Raw Gem, Crystal Gem, we did that. Demons, Blessed Gem, commonly known as a charm kept by saints. Special blessed weapons gradually restore HP. We read that, oops. Um, Drang Hammers. Paired hammers of the Drang Knights, descendants of the land known for the legend of the linking of the fire. When the Drang Knights disbanded, they scattered across the lands as sill swords. They quickly became known for shieldless aggressive tactics that struck fear into the hearts of men. And that reminds me of Lothian. Okay. Um, just checking if there's anything else because I just skipped so much stuff. Okay. Okay. So. Long black hair. Kind of looks like the woman in the the statues, yet the statue, which would probably be there, is covered up. And she has, like, a maggot-like appearance as well. Hello? I was just talking to her. Hmm. Talk. Oh my goodness. Mazaria, mother of rebirth. Um, I don't want to join this because of... S but I feel like joining just gives us the thing. We don't actually have to put it on or give her a pale tongue. Ugh. I hope this doesn't ruin Sirius's questline. Rosaria's fingers. So you can offer a pale tongue, real, reallocate attributes, and alter appearance. But we will do none of that. But we will read this. Looks like the heads of the stabs that were being used by the maggots outside, and it also kind of looks like a rosary. Sacred seal of Ar Archdeacon Klimt. Aha! Uh -huh. Silver Bident decorated by a holy symbol formerly wielded by Saint Klimt. But he lost his faith. Sacred seal of Archdeacon Klimt, who served Rosaria, mother of rebirth. Equipped to pledge oneself to Rosaria's Fingers Covenant. Rosaria's Fingers collects tongues in her name. Some do it to be reborn, others do it to help comfort their voiceless goddess. So there it is. That is the speechless goddess we heard about earlier. Alright, so we're learning about Archdeacon Klimt. The Fingers of Rosaria. Alright. Um, so, where are we at? Yeah, I mean, we can beat. Let's go back to the Cleansing Chapel. We can defeat. I 
feel like this might be a, a longer episode because I kind of want to have all the stuff at Firelink Shrine happen at the end of the episodes. So I'm going to, instead of getting in the habit of ending and then doing a bunch of Firelink Shrine stuff, I'm going to uh, I'm going to do that after I beat the deacons. Are you going to follow me? And just because, you know, we'll have plenty of opportunity to fight these guys, these uh, kind of Lothric knights. I'm just going to run by everything here. There's no sense in the killing ourselves here. Oops. Okay, I wonder if those... I want to uh, summon Henri at the very least. So hopefully this is her. Yes. Because Henri has a a competing, or not competing, but a, a similar uh, desire to come and find Aldrich. So let's go fight Aldrich. And yeah, here's some more of the goddess. Yeah, it doesn't really look like Rosaria. That hair is very different. Uh, but we'll come back here and, and look look through things. So yeah, this is a mechanic, f or like a mechanic fight. This one of the deacons gets this kind of soul thing, and then it gets put into someone else, and you just gotta kill the person. They infinitely spawn. Uh, as you can see, it's not Aldrich. There is this huge coffin here, which we'll talk about later. But yeah, we just gotta kill all the people with that until I think Anri's just wailing furiously. I guess if they gave her okay and so now the Synod kind of comes and now we have this Archdeacon here which we can trick target. They're summoning a whole bunch of dark. Maybe this is Archdeacon Klimt? Klimt? Kill that guy now, and now they all die. We get a small doll, similar to the thing we found in the original um, asylum cage that brought us into the painting of Ariamas. Um, and we have the soul of the Deacons of the Deep. As I say, this is the coffin of Aldrich where he rested. He was not here. Or he's in there. Let's read our items. Soul of the Deacons of the Deep, one of the twisted souls steeped in strength, used to acquire many souls. After Aldrich left for the Boreal Valley, Archdeacon Royce remained in the cathedral with the high priests to keep eternal watch over their master's coffin. Small silverwork doll depicting a young squire 
In the legendary old city of Irithyll, situated in the Boreal Valley, the Pontiff Sullivan gave this doll to valued subjects. And I guess he gave it to Archdeacon uh, Royce as well. So that they may use it to cross the barrier when they return home. So there's a barrier around the Boreal Valley or Irithyll, and we need to get into it. We need the small doll to do that. Listen carefully. And you can hear it say, wherever you go, the moon still sets in Irithyll. Wherever you may be, Irithyll is your home. Yeah, it looks like a knight with a sword. Um, and behind it is kind of a moon-shaped thing. So yeah, that was Archdeacon Royce, not Archdeacon Klimt. And uh, here he is now dead. Now that we're going to set the bonfire, and we can get his white crown, holy garb, and skirt. White crown worn by an archdeacon of the Cathedral of the Deep, presented solely to delegates of the gods. Of the three archdeacons of the Deep, one cast off his white crown and left the cathedral to stand by Aldrich. Okay. So we know Royce stayed back here. That's probably Royce. There's another one that went and followed Aldrich. She's probably an Irithyll. And Archdeacon Klimt. Of the three Archdeacons of the Deep, one stood over Aldrich's casket with hope that he would one day return. Okay. Of the Archdeacons of the Deep, one attended to Rosaria, mother of rebirth, whom he deemed a goddess. So there we go. Klimt, Royce, and a third unknown one. Alright. Let's make this a long episode and... Hold on, let me take a look at this real quick just so we can see all the stuff in here. Hopefully without fighting. Yeah, there's a ring here, but that must be, uh... So yeah, you can see all the statues kind of covered up here with red cloth. And this thing in the center is falling in. Um, I missed a deep gem somewhere. which, uh, hmm, I'll have to check what the lore is on that and uh, determine whether I should go back and get it at some point later. So I know some good lore about um, the deep, and I hope it's not on the deep gem. Okay, so, Assume this is the same. Gaming admission. Okay, so I'm just going to talk to people who I assume are the same. For purposes of getting them out of the way. Speak, I dishonorable. Orbeck of Vinheim. Yeah. Till we need to make. Yeah. It's fine. Oh, hello, your hand in one piece. You can keep the. Okay. Goodbye. It's fine. Can I upgrade? Do I have any messages? Yes. Okay. Um, oh, I do. Okay, cool. Um, okay, yeah. nothing. I'm just not even going to check anymore. Um, okay, so... I got all those. If you seek the yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Do not be done what it is. I don't even want to talk to Orbeck, he's just gonna yell at me. Oh, champion. Okay, so we don't want to give either of those. No, in the already heard all that story. Okay. Cool. That should be it for that side. Okay, so now we can see. Oh, and we meet again. 
We spoke before on the road of sacrifices. I remember. Andre of Astora. Hello. I'm well pleased to see you safe. We reached the Cathedral of the Deep, but Aldrich's coffin was empty. I saw that too. The man eater must have left for his true home. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. Me too. Aldrich is said to hail from Irisil in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farren Keep. Okay. And so becomes our destination. Me too. Aldrich's honest home is Irisil in the pilgrim told me so becomes. No stop. I... Deep Soul. Fire darkened soul sediment. Sorcery of Archdeacon Royce and his deacons said to have been imparted to them by McDonnell of the Boreal Valley. Fire dark soul dregs. Souls which swell from the deep pursue their target, drawn towards life. So perhaps McDonnell is the third archdeacon. And uh, it fires soul dregs. Candlestick used as both sword and catalyst, used but for worship by the deacons of the deep. The deacons, under the guidance of Archdeacon MacDonald, there we go, became both clergymen and sorcerers. This is interesting. So there's this. This needs faith, but not any. Does it do sorcery? It doesn't have any intelligence requirement. All right. So yeah, we have Vort. We have Pontiff Sullivan. We have um, Archdeacon McDonald. We have a lot of. Okay, so I think if you join Rosaria, like, I think Cirrus is here and says like, I'm not talking to you ever again. So I think we did that right. Now invade and come. <laughs> okay. And he won't talk to us until we have um you know actually become Rosarius, whatever, and we can do that at a completely different time. Alright, so let's do a massive uh level up here. And then we're going to go up in the tower. Do we have an Umbra Lash? No. Oops. Ugh, I hate how it goes out of the menu each time. Okay. Now we almost have a hundred thousand. Welcome home, speak. Very well, the taken up. Okay. So one thing is that I should get that up to fifteen. Vitality, I should probably focus on at some point. <laughs> right? Because does that do what does equip load? Yeah. Vitality. I don't know. For now I feel like I'm doing alright, but I mean of course there'll be a time when Let's just start pushing that up. Okay. Um, no umbra lash. Okay, perfect. So let us go. Again, I said this will be a long episode. Um, let us go up and do this whole thing. Uh, this shouldn't be the case. Okay. Nothing there. Um, if anyone doesn't know what this is, this is basically like when you're at Firelink Shrine, they keep it constantly loaded in. Okay, yeah, so they don't. Oh, okay, good. So anytime you genuinely get invaded, that's nice. 
It doesn't have to be a real person, it can be an NPC. Next enemy, react to invaders. The giant trees are also known as watcher trees, and their seeds unmask invaders. When used effectively, these seeds will help counter dark spirits. So yeah, you can like have the enemies attack the invaders, which is a function of them in Dark Souls 2. Alright, so we do have the tower key. So let us go and check this out. Um, I'm going to jump down here first and unlock this so that we can climb back up whenever we want. The crows are actually up here. I don't know if there's any items up here. It's been a while. But I'm going to go down there as well. But, um... That's where the crows actually are. But there's a crystal lizard down here that I want to get, which I guess I'll just come here. Come on. Nice. Twinkling. Alright. Alright, so let's go into the bell tower now. So there's something down there. Oh, like a door shut behind us. Um, and I don't think there's anything over here. Although, I think I always check. Just because, you know, it's one of those things in my brain where I'm like, okay, every time I check, and I gotta remember there's nothing there, which makes me think, I'm not sure, so I should check it every time. Okay. I just got what was going on here. Oh, <laughs> that's really interesting. I'm sure there's lots of people that figured this stuff out, but I, I just... So, we, as we'll see in a second here, um, um, we, we, you know, we, we know that there's, like, a lots of fire keepers that keep getting created for each ash that comes up and what I'm imagining is that the previous fire keeper comes up here and rings the bell and that triggers the new fire keeper to be created and another ash to be generated that's really cool and hence there's only one fire keeper soul that is shared between all of these and you give it to a fire keeper that's really nice I think that's cool. Soul of a firekeeper who is said to have returned from the abyss. Right there. So, I guess our firekeeper is that, um, you know, like, it, maybe this is just a new piece of the story. Or maybe it's Dusk. I don't know. This firekeeper preserves the bonfire and serves its champion. She is said to have soothed and accepted the dark sigil, which has tainted her soul. And yet her soul will one day, uh, embed itself in the bosom of another firekeeper. Yep, exactly. Wow. I don't know. Just never really put that together. That's cool.
So it looks like Batches is here now. <laughs> Sorry, friend. Be more careful. By the gods, curiosity is gonna kill you, kittens. Some places are better left alone, you know. Oh, sorry. Am I a tad too late? <laughs> Besides, you're Oops. surrounded by ladies. Every man's dream, right? <laughs> <laughs> so... Oh, no matter. I'll look after things. By stripping every last trinket off your corpse, you're gonna make some lucky customer very happy. <laughs> oh. So yeah, now it's locked. All right. So yeah, he's saying that all here's where all the dead fire keepers go. Get tossed away. I really want to get that, and I really have a hard time getting that. Oh, yes. Okay, firekeeper robe, gloves, and skirt. She was tossed down here. And didn't quite make it. Oh, wow, I should watch my health. So, yeah. An Estus ring, and we can see here all of the dead firekeepers who have their eyes completely blackened out from probably wearing that thing. And there's like an attempt to have coffins here for them, but they're just being dumped in here now. Estus ring. A green ring crafted from shards increases HP restored by Estus flasks. This ring was entrusted to a certain firekeeper, but in the end she never met her champion, and the ensuing tragic farce became a favorite tale of the masses. I don't know what that's in reference to specifically, but... Um... Okay. So... Firekeeper robe. Robe worn by the guardian of the shrine. The firekeepers were robbed of light to better serve as vessels for souls. Only those who cherish the writhing, searing darkness were given the keepers' black attire. Manchats worn by the guardian of the shrine. Only those who cherish the writhing, searing darkness were given the keepers' black attire. So I guess people volunteered to become firekeepers. Although, in, in Arena's case, I don't think she volunteered at all. Skirt worn by the Guardian of the Shrine. Yep. So. So now we're here where Master was. And yes, you know, we're going a little long here, but we're almost done. So there's two things to do. First thing is to go confront Patches, who may or may not be here. Yes, he is here. Ah, okay. you're alive. Now hold your horses. Let's have a nice talk about this. I'll come clean. I did you wrong. I didn't mean it though. Not one bit. Y you get these urges running the business and all, and, and I, oh, I, I hate myself for it. I do. You know what I mean. Terrible, really. But I can see you'll forgive me. You're alive, after all. And that's what counts, right? Sure. Oh, fantastic. A wily second chance. I, I knew you'd understand. I, I just knew it. The heart of a lion. A model for the rest of us. A true friend. Forever. <laughs> so, yeah, we should purchase the, um, the Katarina stuff, but... Ah, I see you met Grey Rat. Hmm, he knows Grey Rat. Rodent, but he did me a good turn back in Lothric Dungeon. Doubtless I should do something about that little dead. Well, maybe not. Well... I can't believe he's still standing. 
Okay. Oops. All right. I thought we were gonna be done here, but actually, well, actually, we have to get the the, the soul. Welcome home, sweet. Ashen, this is much like what lies within me. Then let it find its own place within my bosom. She will understand. We are both fire keepers after all. It's what it was meant to be done, I think. And I will not heal the Dark Sigil, because I'm going for a certain ending. Forgive me, sister. May the flames guide thy way. Ashen one. Okay. Okay, so, uh, and we don't have any more souls. I mean, we have the main ones, but we'll have to maybe do this a little later, or I will have to, um, how many of these do I have? Okay. But let's go to the Cleansing Chapel. And we will now to another storyline. Continuous storyline. <laughs> Someone swiped my arm. I saw. Did you happen to see it anywhere? I did. Oh, yes. Well, I see. I think. Not to worry. Great planning begets great fortune. I just love to think about. An old tale of the Knights of Katarina. And I. It seems like the Knights of Katarina plan a lot. So yeah, um, I just like to think about the idea that Sigmar is like literally naked down there. Maybe he has his underclothes on, but just how foolish he was taken advantage of. <laughs> He's so hopeless. So innocent. Okay, so, yeah, now we're supposed to go and buy that stuff. Um, and drop it down. I don't have nearly enough souls, so we'll save that for another um, um, episode. Alright, so I think that's it. Now, oh, now we want to go talk to Grey Rat, just in case this now triggers... Um, here's the next part. Oh, hey, and in one. You can keep them. Okay, no. Good luck. <laughs> All right. Well, then that's it. A lot of things going on in this game compared to at least this part in, in any of the other games. I mean, this is just... just feel like there's loose ends and stories. There's all these stories. There's, you know, this guy who's gone, whose story is related to the Legions of Farron. We have Sigmire, who's, or Sigvird, which is kind of related to Yorm. We have Anri, who's related to Aldrich. We have Ludlith, and we don't even know about Lothric yet. So, I mean, there's all, and then we have Cirrus is now coming to help us out with some stuff. We don't know what she wants yet. We have Arena going, we have Yol going, apparently we're a Lord of Hollows. I mean, it's just this whole thing is, uh, yeah, it's getting really, uh, interesting at this point. So, uh, thanks for watching, and, uh, we'll continue, um, by heading to 
the Farron Keep uh, in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.